Hi, hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can arrange your timeline in a Premiere Pro project in a way that you will be able to make edits to effects such as color grading or audio processing to one or even multiple clips at once even after you're done with all the cuts and edits. Normally, when you apply an effect to a clip and then you cut it in order to progress the edit of your video and then you want to go back and change some value of this effect, you're going to need to copy it over to every single occurrence of this clip on your timeline, which can get tedious really, really fast. Sure, there are adjustment layers, but they have their limitations, so if you want to learn how to do it in an even more flexible way, I'll stop watching the video. So right here I have opened a Premiere Pro and opened a new project and I also imported two clips right here and then still image. Those clips are taken from my previous video which was all about testing my newly bought EOS R. So link to that vlog will be in the upper right corner of this video if you want to check it out. But anyway, let's drag one of these clips into the timeline. And let's also drag the second one right here. We can zoom in. And as you can see, those clips are kind of low contrast because I was recording in C-Log. So what we can do to color grade, we can go straight to Lumetri and apply some contrast, maybe drop down some blacks, maybe warm it up a little bit, something like this. And then if I scrub to the second clip, you can see that I need to reapply this Lumetri effect. So what I can do is go to Effects Control, go to the Lumetri, click Command or Control C, select the second clip and click Command or Control V to paste it. And now the effect is also here. But if I go back and for instance I'm going to cool it down quite a lot and go to the second clip, we can see that this adjustment was not reflected in the second clip because those are two separate Lumetri effects. So what we can do instead, we can add an adjustment layer. Okay, let's drag it here. And the adjustment layer works like this, that you can add an effect to the adjustment layer and it will affect every video clip that is below it. So if I color grade the adjustment layer, let's apply the contrast again, blacks down, maybe cool it down this time. And then you can see that both clips are affected by this color grade. But like I said in the intro, there are a lot of limitations to adjustment layers. For instance, I cannot apply audio effects to an adjustment layer. Let's try to apply the reverb. And if I try to drag it onto the adjustment layer, it's just not possible. So if you want to apply audio effects to multiple clips at once, adjustment layers are just not an option. But this is not the only limitation of adjustment layers. For instance, let's say that I want to insert a still image in between my video clips. So I can cut the footage right here, for instance, and then move it to the right a little bit, and then drag my image. The image is already color graded in Lightroom, so I don't need to apply my adjustment layer to this image. So I can just drag it right here. And the first problem is that my adjustment layer is now cut in half. So if I want to adjust some value of the Lumetri effect in one part of the adjustment layer, I would have to copy it over to the second half of the adjustment layer. But also, let's say I want to use a cross dissolve here. And we can see that the adjustment layer stops affecting the video clip right here. So you can see this noticeable jump in the color grade before the first clip disappears completely by this transition. I can of course shorten the adjustment layer, but then I will see the jump in color grade right here in my first clip. So this is also not an option. There's really no way to add transitions like cross dissolves when you're working with adjustment layers to apply color grades. So instead of using adjustment layers altogether, let's do something else. Let's back up. And now what we can do is actually we can select both of these clips, right click and nest. And you probably heard about nesting, but that's not the end of the story. We can nest clips multiple times if we want to. So the trick here is to actually right click again and nest again. And now if we open this by double clicking, we can color grade this nested sequence. Of course, this adjustment applies to both of these clips that are part of this nested sequence. And then I can go back here. I can cut my footage here. I can insert the image if I want to, no problem. I can again add the cross dissolve here and take a close look, nothing happens. The color grade is not jumping, it's all good. And if you work with those two nested sequences like this, you can cut it and rearrange all you want and you can always 
double click on any part of it and go back to this and then readjust your Lumetri control and also you can apply an audio effect to a nested sequence so for instance there is no problem in applying the reverb here into my nested sequence and now the reverb is actually affecting both of those underlying clips I can double click to reveal them the reverb is applied to both of these clips and I can change the value of it afterwards if I say that for instance ah maybe I don't need as much of it or maybe I need something more or maybe I need another effect such as parametric equalizer or whatever I can just apply it to this nested sequence 0 1 and it will be reflected in this outer sequence that is already cut and pieced together with other parts of my video pretty amazing right so that's basically it. I hope you learned something today. If you did, make sure to hit the like button down below. It really makes a difference. Also, consider subscribing to the channel because there will be more videos like this. And I usually make photography tutorials, filmmaking tutorials, drone flying tutorials, and sometimes vlogs or travel videos. So if you're interested in any of that, you know what to do. But that's it for now. See you next time. Have a good day and bye-bye.